Hello, my name is Michelle. I am from Waldheis Farm Sunrise Greenhouse, and we thank you for tuning in to our YouTube tutorial for our creation stations. We today are going to teach you how to make a large porch pot. We start off by giving you a large pot full of dirt. Uh, you're also going to have a paper when you get there with all the steps and how to follow it. Please bring a pair of uh, pruners. This is your best friend. You can bring gloves if you want. Dress a little warm. It's sometimes a little chilly in here and that'll help you be more comfortable. We start out by giving you a huge bundle of gorgeous green and gorgeousness. You have everything you need in here. And the first step is we're going to turn it over upside down because we kind of have the greens in order and uh, the steps in order and how we're going to go. So if you cut that in the back and start backwards, our very first green is going to be, uh, this is called Fraser fir. And we ask that you pick three nice pieces. We're going to do our base. It's a very simple formula. Easy peasy. We're going to cut three nice tips of this Fraser fir and place it facing outward in a triangle. So I always start out a little longer because you can always cut it more. So give everything a fresh cut on the bottom and make sure you cut um, your branches off the bottom so it'll stick in the dirt really nice for you. So everything's gonna be facing outward and in a triangle like that and back to back, the first three pieces. And that is our base, it's pretty simple. We're gonna save this to the end. And that's our third tip. So this is our base for our greenery. So the very next green in your pile, the next step is called princess pine. And this is fluffy and we're gonna put it in between and face it around. So we're gonna cut three nice pieces. One, two, And three. So we're gonna put this guy in here like so. Three of them. And we're gonna keep turning our pot and facing everything outward. And I'm gonna go tall, medium, short towards the end. Tall in the middle, medium after that, and short pieces towards the edge of your pot, which will be last. So here is what it looks like all the way around. We're gonna keep turning our pot. We don't have a front yet because we want it to be really nice and full all the way around, not a flat back. It's a pretty simple formula, just face out, keep facing out and keep turning. This next guy is called Douglas Fir. He's gonna give us dimension and because of the limey green that breaks up all of that dark green and it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna cut three nice stems of this and place it all around my pot. So I got three of those and I'm gonna save these and cut some short, got medium and short towards the end of filling. So our next greenery is called Noble Fir. This is a very beautiful greenery. Um, I like to establish the front of my pot with this. I think I like this for the front. So that's what I'm gonna do is cut three nice pieces of this. And I'm gonna get these guys off the bottom so it sticks in the dirt well. One here, feel pretty. So now I know where the front is. And I'm gonna cut three more nice ones. My next guy is called Port Orford Cedar. This is your lacy. It's beautiful, it gives it more dimension. Um, so we're gonna cut three nice pieces of this. And now you wanna cover any dirt that's showing and just keep turning and fill any holes that you see. Um, we, got, we give you so much in your bundle that um, everybody should go home with a really full pot. And if there is a branch that you don't like that just won't work, because that happens, just raise your hand in the stations and an expert that is there to help you make your pot will go get you a, a fresh branch. No problemo. So our greenery is complete on our porch pot. 
And next in your bundle, we're gonna get to the pretties and the designer stuff that look, makes it look so professional. Our first thing, this is called um, Orgonia. So we give you a really nice substantial branch. You can separate it all and cut it and put it all the way around. I like chunks of it towards the front so you can see it because it's gorgeous. So let's do a chunk here, chunk here, a chunk in the middle, and we'll put one here. But you feel free to put it wherever you want. It breaks up everything and gives it dimension very nicely. And then our next piece is going to be called Incense Cedar. It's got these gorgeous yellow balls on the end and it just makes the pot look amazing. So you can cut some short or you can put a tall in the front. I like all this stuff towards the front because you only get a little bit of it. Um, so I like a tall piece, but some people like it all hanging over on the bottom, so I'll save a couple for that. And it really helps when you put this in backwards. If it's leaning that way, put it in backwards this way, because then it'll flop exactly how you want it. So isn't that pretty? It just makes all that light yellow look so pretty. And then you can put a couple down here. This one hanging off the side, because it's gorgeous. We also give you in your bundle blue juniper with these blueberries on it. It's just gorgeous. And I like to put just one chunk of it in together. I don't cut mine up, but feel free to do whatever you want. Um, I normally like it down here hanging out, so that's what I'm gonna do. I cut that so it will do that for me. I turn it to the side, and then you got these gorgeous blueberries cascading out. Here's another little branch I'll put in also. Give it a fresh cut and put one right there. Okay, so next, we got pine cones for you that are already on a stick. You place them wherever you wanna see them. I'm gonna put them here just cause I, it looks like they need it there. There's a little hole there. And we give you one sprig of berries. I like to separate them and keep them towards the front cause there's only one. So they show up. We give you three white sticks. These are called painted white birch sticks. And you can place these wherever you like as well. So this gives it a little finished look. And we get let you pick your own bow, whatever bow you prefer. The main thing about the bows is you get you fluff them twice. Once before you put it in there and once after I put it in there. So I think it needs a bow right here. And here is our finished porch pot. I'll turn it towards the back. It's nice and full all the way around. And then here is the front. So then, one last thing, when you get home, when you take your pot home, you wanna water it in and it's gonna freeze like a popsicle outside. And these greeneries should last you well into the early spring. And that's all you need to do. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you.